when I first heard numbers like that, I, those numbers aren't really in Ottawa. Houses are a lot cheaper there, so just never thought I would have to save up that much money to buy a house in Ottawa, especially my first house. Um, so I just see that as impossible. Um, so I got kind of freaked out by that number, but you understand those numbers way better than I do. That's no, okay. I mean, like, it, it's a really big number. <laughs> it is a big it's number. It's many times more than so our combined much. income. <laughs> no matter how you slice it, that's a lot of money. We can afford that. We pay it off till we're 90. Okay, great. We could afford it, and we looked at, you know, at, at like both of our income and stuff, but at the same time, we also do look at it where it's kind of like separating wants from need. At what point does that whole pride of ownership thing become, you know, like a, kind of a millstone around your neck where it's like, all, you know, like let's just go away for two weeks, but we can't go away for two weeks, right? With this mortgage, and you know, it's it's one thing if you're 45, but you know, being in your 20s is a bit different way of looking at it. Uh, okay, so we've decided not to buy because it's just too much money and, uh, well, we have a lot of living to do, I think, before we're nailed down with a mortgage and all the, the rest that comes along with it. Um, so I think instead what we'll probably be prioritizing is stuff like um, we've already started our retirement savings plans um, and we've started um, saving money for a wedding, started saving money for trips. We're already planning a trip to probably Turkey and Lebanon later this year, um, which we wouldn't have been able to do if we tried to buy the house. Um, so that's really exciting and uh, we're thinking also um, next trips would be Morocco, Zimbabwe, South Africa. What are the other ones? Like, just like, Everywhere. The whole world. It's, so it's, it's kind of cool, it's kind of exciting, it's kind of a letdown, but at the same time it's exciting to know what we can do, what else we can do with that money. and. Uh, it's definitely something that, you know, there's, it's a trade-off, but I think it's the right one for us now. Mm -hmm.